My name is Richard Selby and in this video I'm going to show you how to install and license the Trimble Access emulator and how to use the emulator simulating the GNSS survey. So the place to begin is with Trimble Installation Manager. So if you've not already got Trimble Installation Manager, download it onto your PC, just a quick search online and you'll find it very easily. Here's the installation manager running on my PC. Uh, if you've got a fresh installation, yours will look slightly different. But the key thing is to have controller selected in this list and that Trimble Access is clicked on at the top here. The next step is to click on the request demo tab which you can see shown here and from there you need to proceed to sign in now if you've got a Trimble ID registered email address and password you can sign in with this if not press the create button follow the dialog to create and register the Trimble ID and once that's done you can then log in. And once you've logged in to Trimble Installation Manager, you'll see a message appear about a license being created and the software being ready to download. And then it's possible to tick the emulator modules that you wish to install in the list. Shown in the Installation Manager. So Normally this would uh, be the Trimble Access and General Survey plus any of the other optional modules which you, you might wish to use. So press install. Trimble Access Emulator will then install onto the PC and from within the emulator you'll be able to open uh, jobs from controllers, existing jobs, or create new jobs and simulate the measurements of points and operations within those jobs. And that's what we're going to look at next in the software itself. So I'm going to assume some familiarity with Trimble Access. When you, you follow this process to install the emulator, it will, by default, prompt you to install the latest version of Trimble Access. This happens to be 2021.1, the version that I'm running here. I've made a, a project and I'm just going to make a new job to go into my project folder. There we are, got my template set up for my coordinate system. Because I'm going to simulate GNSS measurements I need to either have a coordinate system or a site calibration or perform a site calibration as part of the usage of the emulator. The same as, as you would need to do with a real GNSS survey kit. Just press enter on there for now and create this job and I get my Trimble Access dialog up here. With the emulator, there's a default RTK survey style installed, and this is what the simulation will, will use once we've fired it up and we get into using the, the emulator. What I'm going to do here is just turn on some data files that I've got so we can see something on the screen. So I've got a an XML file here containing some road information and here I can see I'm in the roads module I'm just going to flip out into general survey for the time being just to get started as that is the default core Trimble access module so I can't dive in and start taking measurements straight away we're not connected to a simulated device as yet measuring device this video is covering the GNSS simulation, so from the menu here, 
if you go to about and then press support hidden under there is the option to start the GNSS emulator so I'm going to click on this and the panel will open here and it will prompt you to pick a receiver type to open the GNSS joystick which I would suggest you do to begin with you can reopen it if, if it should be closed uh, but let's open it to begin with put in a location for a simulated base on the assumption here that we're simulating an RTK survey so put in a lat long coordinate that's going to be relevant to where you want your measurements to take place your simulated measurements and likewise do the same for the the rover position as well if I click accept now the receiver simulation has started I'll just minimize that in the background and the GNSS joystick has appeared so now when I, I click measure I'll get my survey style list appear I want to pick RTK and it will connect to the simulated receiver there's a simulated base there ID 13 at this stage you might be prompted to select some settings for the the survey style if they don't match the R12 or whichever antenna you've picked you might be asked to confirm which receiver type you wish to use in the survey style how to communicate with the the base so if you're prompted for any of that information on screen just choose the option to pick uh, radio communication with an internal receiver radio and once you've done that you'll then get to the same stage I'm showing here on the screen so if I want to simulate a point measurement I can put my point name in code if I wish the methods are the same as the access options you'd see in the field with the real GNSS survey kit uh, measurement positions relative to the, the type of receiver connected to and we can see we've got all our connections now live simulation of 14 satellites visible and our simulated precision if I tap and hold on the, the map screen here if I put the, the selection option on on the drop down menu there's an option to move the rover so I can move the rover in this plan view map style wherever I wish using that option the other option for moving the rover is the joystick so again pretty easy to, to navigate with the, the joystick itself moves the rover position horizontally across the, the map screen in increments of one or two meters depending where you've clicked and in which direction so to move to the to the east and click on this side and likewise to move the rover in the the vertical direction you have a bar which again will, will move the rover either up or down in the vertical for fine movements there's that fine tick box here and then you can move horizontally in point 0.1, point 0.2 of a meter in my case my units are meters and up and down in the same increments as well okay so if I want to measure a position here then I've lined up the rover where I want it I can hit measure observation stored and that measurement has been taken if I want to take a measurement somewhere else I can move the rover either using the joystick or the tap and hold method and take the second measurement observation stored okay so measuring points very easy the general survey functions that you'll be familiar with if you're an access user you can perform in here as well so if I want to stake out 
a point again it's just a case of selecting it going into stake out as you would would normally and using the, the tap and hold option for the the joystick to navigate towards towards the point that you've selected to to set out just escape that I have a center line alignment here off an XML again you could stake out that alignment by selecting it on the screen and going into stake out and I can pick my line stake out options from here if you have the roads module installed in the emulator uh, if, if you don't get the, the roads module straight away once you've set it up uh, please get in touch with us here at Coric Support you're uh, one of our customers and we can help you get that activated so here I, I do have it in my emulated version of access I can switch here now into roads so if I want to stake out this land XML file as a full road design I'm now able to to simulate that so again I just double tap on the background just to deselect everything. Show you here, I can select my uh, land XML alignment file. Go into stake out. Confirm antenna height. And then I get my road staking options. Again, if you're familiar with Trimble access roads module, you'll, you'll be familiar with, with these. We're now seeing the road templates add the, the various changes in the design so if I want to set out a particular string or a node on a string or just measure relative to the road I can I can make a start here so perhaps I'll move the rover somewhere here and press start so I'm just going to show my position relative to the road and I can see a change value now, as I would expect to see, horizontal offset from the centre line, a direction towards the, the centre line, and a vertical distance to the, the road surface. And I've got my cross-section viewer here that I can toggle to to see my position. My, my rover position is currently up here. so. If I put this into fine mode, the GNSS joystick, I can move down, and as I do so, I will see that cut value reduced. My measured position comes down with those adjustments. Again, I can move left and right using using the uh, the horizontal lateral measurement to toggle back to the plan view. I'll just go back here. There we are. Okay, so any element of the, the roads module that you're familiar with with setting out or checking road design information, you can use within here. You can take measurements, you can set out profiles and side slopes as you would in real life using the, the emulator. If you should close the GNSS joystick and you wish to get it back so you can continue using it to move your position again just tap and hold and on the pop-up menu it's going to be down here so we can bring it back I hope this little video is useful if you have any questions regarding the installation of the Trimble Access emulator or indeed using the emulator then please do get in touch with ourselves on the contact information shown on the screen. Thanks for watching.